Here is an old deep freeze. Not old, five, six years old, ten years old, somewhere in that sort of range. Um, it's broken. The controller, thermocouple ding dang, got some water in it and went kaboom, and now it's had it. But the compressor's still good, all the other stuff is still good, so I'm going to replace that smarts with my own smarts with a ESP8266 and some temperature sensor and a little relay to control the compressor. And of course put it on Wi-Fi so I can control the set point and monitor the temperature for no good reason at all. Um, problem one is that the thermo well that the old temperature sensor was in is too small for a, uh, what is it, the DS18B20, the one wire temperature sensor that everyone uses. Um, so I got a Max 31855K, I think it is, 32855K, the thermocouple chip. Um, because the thermocouple can fit down inside that tube, no worries. But I couldn't get that chip working. I kept getting garbage data over SPI and I don't know why. So I gave up on that. So I'm just going to drill a hole, a bigger hole, and put a DS18 temperature sensor in there to monitor the inside temperature. Um, I'm even thinking of leaving a little bit of extra length on the cable. It's pretty long. So you can tuck this in amongst the food and it'll measure the, the food's temperature as opposed to just what that would be measuring, which is just the housing temperature. Um, but, I'm going to drill, I'm going to drill a hole. I don't want to drill through any of the pressure lines. So I'm just looking at, so the, the compressor has suction labelled there. So this is the low pressure side, that's the high pressure side. That's just a fill port. Um, so the high pressure side comes out of the compressor, goes into the bottom, of the freezer and so I suspect that there's a radiator in here like that goes in there and goes zoop, 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 zoop. And then it comes out and then goes down into the back here and I suspect there's another radiator in the back here and then it comes back out over this side goes through some kind of filter or scavenger or just a, a pressure shunt or something goes through this fine wire, fine tube, and then goes back down into the actual freezer freezer. So it sucks up heat from inside the freezer when the gas goes from high pressure, low volume, to low pressure, high volume, comes up out of this pipe, and then goes back into the compressor. So the challenge is, where can I drill and not drill through the line? Um, reasonably sure that that just zigzags back and forth across the bottom. This one just goes across the back. Um, my concern is that I don't know what path these two lines take inside the freezer. Um, so the side of the old thermo well, I, I, I tried um, heating that up to melt the glue around it, which melted, it's just some sort of thermal adhesive. Um, but then I tried to pull that up out so I could reuse the hole but I couldn't, so I suspect it's gone down through the insulation and then there's a right angle bend and then it runs along the inside somehow. Um, but yeah, I'm about to drill a hole in it and hopefully I don't get a face full of... I don't know what refrigerant this uses. Ho hopefully I don't get a face full of that. Okay, wish me luck. Oh, so good. Um, it went down quite a way with no resistance, just going through the insulation. I've just been twisting it through by hand after I made the initial hole through the sheet metal. And um, I think I'm hitting up against the inside of the, the food compartment, which is great. So now I've got to drill through that. It's a bit hard to get the drill down inside there, though. All works on out. Beautiful. 8mm hole on the underside, perfect 6mm hole, um, through into the freezer compartment. I had to break out the old mega drill to get the right angle down there, but it worked. Right, just gonna write software and uh, employ an electrician to do the wiring.
Very good.